change our community. Is this good? We hope it will be. They're planning to build a pipeline through the heartland of our country, move the oil from the tar sands in northern Alberta to the Gulf for refining, you know, all the way through Montana, South Dakota, Nebraska. All the pluses against some of the minuses. And right now, I think the community and the county is pretty much on the plus side. Let's go with the pipeline. We were concerned for the area because we grew up up here. The information that I've gotten from, from Keystone officials is they want to be on top of it. They don't want to have an issue, so they want to be good neighbors. My grandfather used to take us out fishing at the mouth of the milk. I don't want to see this infrastructure put in place and then have us and our children and our children's children then live with the problem going forward. Conventional crude floats on water. Dill bit sinks. Once it's on the bottom of the river, nobody knows how to get it off. We haven't heard in depth the amount of safety regulations for Keystone. There's nothing is guaranteed foolproof. Even if we're not at the worst case scenario, even if we're at a, what was the Yellowstone spill, it was a 40,000 gallon spill, that took them weeks to get the people to buildings. There are those people that come with predetermined viewpoints, and no matter what you say, they're not going to be confused with any facts. pipeline will come through and even though it's going to cause some problems, uh, I think it'll survive and I think it'll be good for the country. What can we do about it? Just get ready for it and try to do the best we can to be ready. That's all I can say. Let's understand this thing before we build it and let's make sure we do it right so that Maybe I can bring my grandkids up here and we can go fishing out at the mouth of the milk. Here.